Hey everyone, it's Jana. Welcome back to my channel. I am back outside enjoying the nice spring weather. You may even hear some birds chirping in the background. And I remember that Mother's Day is coming up very soon and I wanted to create a really fun and unique recipe idea for you guys. So today we're going to be making flower pot cupcakes. I love the way these turn out and I hope you guys will too. But before we get to baking, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Alright, now let's head inside and get started. For the chocolate cupcakes, I'm using the same recipe from the mint chocolate cupcakes video I posted a few months ago. I'll link the video at the end and in the description box below as well. Also, I cut the recipe in half, but if you need more cupcakes, go ahead and make the full amount. I got larger flower pots that are roughly 4 inches in diameter and they are able to fit one full size cupcake and one mini. I will link the exact pots down below. Next up is to line and fill cupcake tins. I use green liners and then let them bake for 25 minutes at 350 degrees. Keep your eye on the mini ones because they might bake faster. Once the cupcakes are done, let them cool before you frost. While the cupcakes are cooling, I'm going to prep my flower pots. I have two sheets of green tissue paper. The larger one I scrunch up and place into the pot. This acts like a base for the cupcakes to sit on. Then I fold a smaller sheet of paper into a square and I place it into the pot as well. Now fix up the edges and the flower pot is good to go. Now it's time for the fun part. It's time to frost. I'm piping one of my favorite flowers, the rose, using the built-in number 2D tip. Start from the center and work your way out. Then for the mini cupcakes, I'm using this fun tip. It's the built-in number 107L tip. I'm just piping little flowers all over the top of the cupcakes. I love the way this one turned out. We're almost done. The last step is to assemble. Position your cupcakes inside the flower pot. Then I have these fun flower picks that I stuck in as well. I will try and find a link for these and put them in the description box below. And that's it, you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and that little bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. I love the way these cupcakes turned out. I'll definitely be posting lots of pictures over on my Instagram page. I will put the link in the description box below if you want to check it out. And if you guys make this recipe, please take pictures and tag me. I would love to see. And of course, let me know what other recipes you guys want to see. I have a couple of ideas for summer that I'm super excited about. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!